Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and today we will take our Flutter application security to the next level using Parse. When you have a cloud-based application, you have multiple layers of security that you must enforce to ensure that every single one of your end users will be able to see their data and only their data, not other users' data. And we have a few concepts here in Parse that allows you to achieve so. Today, we'll be focusing on protecting our classes using COPs, ACLs, and other features inside back app to avoid access to unauthorized uh, data inside your application. The first concept that we are going to see today is CLPs, which stands for class level permissions. It is a broader way for you to set every single user or role that has access to read, write, or change your class data. When a request first comes to back for app servers, it will be validated against its uh, CLP rules. And if it matches those rules, then the validation process will continue. The next step will be validating the ACLs, which stands for access control lists. It's basically a list of reading and write privileges in a per record basis. So if you have a class, for instance, and you have access to that class, but you don't want a specific user to have access to a certain record, then ACLs are the way to go. It will allow you to set a per user or per role basis reading and writing privileges to a certain record. So after the validation of the CLPs, the part the part server will try to validate its ACLs, and if the ACLs matches, then the user has access to that record. Now I'll show you how to set the CLPs for a certain class. So here I have my parse dashboard for a, the to-do application that we are doing for this series. All I have to do is choose a class where I want to implement the ACLs, for instance, the to-do class, click this icon over here, go to security and class level permission. In here, as I created this class as a public class, you see I have public access for reading, writing, and add fields, which is changing the class structure. So I don't want that to be done uh, in a per user basis. So all I have to do is to uncheck those check marks here and check what I want them to see. For, for authenticated users, I want them to be able to read and write inside this class. This is my particular case and your case might be different, but I don't want any users to be able to change the class, so they won't be able to add or remove fields for it. So all I have to do now is click Save CLP and my CLP will be done for authenticated users. If you have users or roles uh, specifically that you want to set different uh, C CLPs, all you have to do is choose the roles from here and check their permissions. Now, in order to set the ACL for a specific record, all I have to do is choose the class that I want to change it, and you'll find in its records the ACL column. All I have to do is click that column, and for this one specific record, I have public read and write access. I want to remove those. So I just uncheck it. And I want to add to my own user the uh, ability to read but not write this record. So all I have to do is put the user I have in here, so Alex, and uncheck the write uh, uh, checkbox. So my user will be able to read this record but not to change it. So your uh, specific case may change, so you have to set it uh, in a way it works for you. But for this specific example, my user will be able to read this record, but not to change it. You can also set the ACLs programmatically. To do so, here I have my main.dart, where I created a set ACL method. And the first thing I have to do is to get my current user. We do that by typing parse user equals await parse users dot current user are parse user. Then I have to instantiate my ACL. We do that by typing parse ACL parse ACL equals parse ACL. 
Then I want to set the properties for this ACL. So we do that by doing uh, it's set read access by parse ACL dot set read access, then passing the user ID of my current user. And in this case, I want to be able to read it. So allowed true. Then we will set our um, writing access. So parse ACL dot set write access user ID and the current user object ID allowed true. So this ACL will allow this user to read and write a certain record. Then we are going to set uh, the read ACL for another specific user. I'm doing this so you can see that you can pass the object ID as a parameter. So read ACL and then my uh, object ID as a string allowed true. And once again, set write access to the same object ID allowed false. In this case, it will not allow the second user to write to that object. Then I'm going to create uh, uh, an instance of my class. So parse object, parse object equals parse object and then my class name. And then parse object dot set ACL to the ACL I just created up here. And then API response equals await parse object dot save. It will save a object inside this uh, my class with the uh, ACLs that I just set. Another way to protect your application is to not to allow the class creation from client side. We do that by going to app settings, server settings, core settings. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see for my application, the client class creation is allowed. So anyone with my keys will be able to create new classes. I don't want that to happen. So you click edit details and uncheck allow client class creation and save it. So now the clients won't be able to create new classes to my backend. If I want a new class to be created, I have to manually create it from the, uh, from the uh, parse dashboard. Last but not least, you want all your calls to the backend to be done securely. We do that by enforcing SSL. All you have to do to enforce SSL in all your calls in is when you, you are instantiating the parse SDK, you pass the parse server URL as HTTPS and then the uh, URL. If you use HTTP, your calls will not be encrypted, but if you use HTTPS, they will all be encrypted using SSL, which will make all your calls much more secure. So there you go. If you implement all these rules, it will make your Flutter application much more secure. I hope you liked this video and hope to see you on the next ones of this Flutter series soon. See you soon. Bye-bye.